We are certainly glad you've joined us inside 12th Man Studios. I'm Will Johnson, and we begin with Texas A&M women's basketball. They were strong to close out the regular season on Sunday, defeating nationally ranked Missouri 82 to 63. And now Gary Blair, our head coach, he's with us. They are off to Nashville for the Southeastern Conference Tournament. A&M will begin play on Thursday. Coach, that means the calendar is about to turn to March. It's about Things, March Madness. Yeah, excitement ramps up at this point, doesn't well, it? Well, the whole key <laughs> is you want to be relevant in March. And uh, I'm trying to think. Thursday, what day is that? Is that March 1st or still no, February? Man, you're trying to, you're doing math and calendar. That's, That's be, March 1st? Yeah. Well, we made it to March. <laughs> <laughs> I love it, and we're still in one piece. Yeah. Uh, got a healthy team and a pretty good team. Uh, we're going to Nashville. Hopefully, we can do some damage up there. Do you like how you finish that regular season and the way it can propel, propel you into the tournament bracket? Because a 19-point win over Missouri, that's pretty good stuff. Well, we played awfully well. We shot the ball well. We shared the ball. Our defense, our matchup zone, uh, particularly from the second quarter on, was very good. We were forcing some turnovers. We held Cunningham down as well as you can hold Cunningham, and we got her to foul out by making some dumb fouls in the middle of the court. But I was really pleased, and I was pleased that we had a good crowd there to see those seniors go off on their last night. And, uh, the core was there, plus we had a lot of young kids. and. After the ball game, our kids were out there for about 45 minutes signing autographs. And so when they're smiling, they're happy, coach is happy. <laughs> and we were talking before we started, your ability to score this year has been pretty incredible. Obviously, you've put some really good teams on the floor in your time at A&M, but this one may score with the best of them or even be the best in points-wise. Well, there's... A couple reasons. First, you're a good rebounding team. There's a little kid named Howard that's pretty good at that. <laughs> so we're getting a lot of off. If we miss a shot, she's getting the offensive rebound at least one third of the time that missed shots happen. Second, we're the best free throw shooting team in the SEC and the best I've ever had. Our kids really work on that and take a lot of pride. Third, I've got a point guard that can create offense for herself and for others. And then that's opening up. Who are you going to stop? I've got five scoring options on that first team. And, uh, and then I've got kids coming off the bench that are shooting pretty well as well. All right, now you go to Nashville. You're the five seed. You're going to wait for a Wednesday winner between Arkansas and Vanderbilt to know who you play first. Your thoughts on the bracket in the SEC tournament? Well, our goal was to finish fourth. We technically did. It's a four-way tie. But LSU had the bracket because they beat a higher-ranked team than we did, either Tennessee or South Carolina. I forgot which one. But it was close. But uh, the fifth seed, that means we're still going to be in Mississippi State's bracket if we get this far. But to be the best, you got to beat the best. We've done it before. But to do that, you've got to win your first game, <laughs> and that's Vanderbilt or Arkansas. And I don't care which. Uh, we played very well against both of them, but we've got to make sure that we're not looking past those two to LSU who's sitting there waiting on us. All right, well, good luck in Nashville, and then after that, we hope to see you back home. Thanks for the time, Coach. I want to see our fans one more time because they were <laughs> great, and I thank you all for coming to our ball game on Sunday. All right, Texas A&M starts play in the SEC tournament on Thursday.